Here is spirit and sweep and speed. And here is comfort, deep and luxurious. Your invitation to driving fun. This blending of the virtues of the sports car and the modern passenger car distinguishes the Chevrolet Corvette. This truly American sports car has advanced a new concept of driving. Not driving just for transportation, not driving just for speed or prizes, but driving for fun, spicing the most routine journey with the tang of the wind, the warmth of the sun, and the acceleration of motion and crisp responsiveness. Yes, the Corvette is fun on wheels. And that's a goal that man has been working towards for centuries. In the days of the horse-drawn carriage, there were those young in spirit and heart who favored the light and quick handling two-seater. So history was just repeating itself when motorists began discovering the joys of the sports car. But with American factories occupied with filling the post-war demand for passenger cars, United States sports car enthusiasts had to accept penalties in comfort and convenience and choose cars built for roads and conditions quite different. Now, with the vast resources and know-how of Chevrolet applied to the task, the Corvette stands as the first sports car to be designed expressly for the American road and the American taste. The Corvette is supreme in its field, driving for fun. No sports car at any price so successfully satisfies those who want to sense the sweep of the road beneath them, the instant obedience of the steering wheel, and the sincere admiration of travelers less fortunate or less discriminating. Such pleasures are not confined to the race course, but reward the driver on each trip to the office, shore house, country club, commuter train, or neighborhood shopping center. Completely modern design is the reason why the Corvette can set new standards of beauty, safety, and comfort without sacrificing authentic sports car performance and quick, nimble handling. In designing the Corvette, Chevrolet engineers were not bound by old principles and old facilities. They could be objective in retaining sound sports car features, and they were free to replace the obsolete with new and modern ideas. Such trend-setting features are found in every phase of the Corvette, engine and chassis, body and transmission. Now let's see why they make the Corvette such a package of pleasure. Powering the Corvette is the modern and highly perfected Blue Flame 150 engine, typical of the advanced features that account for its mighty 150 horsepower are triple side draft carburetors, they provide a shorter, more direct path to the combustion chamber for more even fuel distribution. They pull in more fuel-air mixture, endowing each charge with extra power. Inside the cylinder, top power is wrung from every drop of mixture by compressing the air fuel to one-eighth its original volume. Yes, the Corvette's eight-to-one compression ratio puts a real power wallop behind the pistons. And it's also one of the reasons for the Corvette's unusual gas economy. In constant speed test driving, the Corvette delivered 18.7 miles per gallon at 20 miles per hour, 19.2 at 40, and 18.1 at 60. Mileage at other speeds was comparable. Twin exhausts, best known for their husky, deep-throated tone, get the discharged gases out in double quick time, thus assuring that the new mixture taken in is of undiluted richness. This has a real payoff in greater power. While some of the most expensive foreign sports cars charge extra for twin exhausts, they're standard on the Corvette. Let's compare the Blue Flame 150 to the engines of foreign cars, some of which cost up to $3,000 more. The Corvette develops a spectacular 150 horsepower. The Alfa Romeo has 100 the Aston Martin, 140, the Austin Healey, 90, the Fiat V8, 110, the Jawa Jupiter, 62 and one half, the Lancia, 118, the MG, 54, the Porsche, 70, the Simca, 51, and the Sunbeam, 80. In fact, the average horsepower of 14 leading sports cars of Britain, Italy, Germany, and France is only 109. 
And while the Corvette reaches its top horsepower at just 4,200 RPM for longer, more trouble-free engine life, the foreign engines generally have to strain up to higher engine speeds. For example, the Alfa Romeo peaks at 5,500, the Aston Martin at 5,500, the Fiat V8 at 6,000, the Jawa Jupiter at 4,500, the Lancia at 5,000, the MG at 5,200, the Porsche at 5,500, and the Simca at 5,000. Chevrolet's engine can develop greater power at lower engine speeds because it's bigger and huskier. Compare the Corvette's man-sized displacement of 235 to the size of these foreign engines. Alfa Romeo, 115. Aston Martin, 157. Austin Healey, 162. Fiat V8, 121.5. Jawa Jupiter, 91. Lancia, 150. MG, 76.3. Porsche, 91. Simca, 74.5. And Sunbeam, 138. The smaller imported engines frequently require the skill of a watchmaker to repair. Limited engineering and production resources, plus low volume production, can magnify service problems. In contrast, the Blue Flame 150 is engineered and built with the benefit of the most modern and complete precision tool facilities to assure rigidly high quality and the added convenience of quicker, easier, far less expensive replacement of parts. And remember, the Corvette Blue Flame 150 engine is understood intimately by Chevrolet service departments coast to coast, another assurance of quick, low-cost repairs anywhere. The power and dependability of the Corvette engine is just part of the reason this sports car is so much fun to drive. There's real excitement in the thread-a-needle handling of the Corvette. Its brisk responsiveness can be traced to a brand new, brilliantly advanced chassis. Its wheelbase is just 102 inches, a full foot shorter than the smallest popular passenger car. This means cat-like maneuverability. The Corvette frame is the staunch X-braced box girder type, with greater sturdiness coming from the fact that the drive line is carried over the X rather than through it, leaving the frame solid. Here's a Corvette Safety Plus that is not even found on some foreign sports cars costing thousands of dollars more. The phrase road-hugging stability is a literal fact with the Corvette. It has a center of gravity just 18 inches from the ground, bringing new safety to the sports car field. Cornering and stability are further boosted by outrigger-type rear springs and broad wheel treads. They give the Corvette firmer footing. Add to all this, a well-balanced weight distribution of 53% in front, 47% in the rear, and a fast-acting steering ratio of 16 to 1 that means better control and a better feel of the road. And is there any wonder that whether the scene is the open road or a crowded city street, the Corvette puts joy into every journey? Perfected as the Corvette engine is, advanced as many of the Corvette chassis features are, still the most brilliant pioneering honors fall to the Corvette body, fashioned of glass fiber reinforced plastic. It's lightweight, it's extra strong, it's rust proof and squeak proof. A hammer blow on the Corvette body vividly illustrates its resistance to impact. In many types of collisions, the body does not dent, but gives with the impact and springs back. Body damage can be repaired quickly with the Corvette repair kit, in less time and at less cost than fixing a steel body. This saving of time and money on body repairs is possible because practically any damage to a plastic body is localized. With this modern lightweight body that holds the Corvette weight down to a nimble 2,850 pounds, with a modern 150 horsepower engine and a sturdy, well-balanced chassis, is there any wonder that the Corvette can spring from zero to 60 in just 11.4 seconds and in racetrack operation can attain speeds of well over 100 miles an hour? But this sparkling action is just part of the fun of owning a Corvette. There's real chest swelling pride in driving a car of such unsurpassed distinction. The Corvette has head turning, heart winning style from its screened in recessed headlights to its air-finned, jet-shaped rear fenders.
fleet movement when standing still. This illusion cast by the Corvette is accomplished by smooth, streamlined contours and the total absence of disturbing projections. But no illusion is the Corvette's graceful, low-slung silhouette. The Corvette is just 47 inches high, a full three inches lower than the average foreign sports car. And still, modern engineering permits the Corvette to have a full six-inch road clearance, as much as found in some standard passenger cars. Style distinction is retained and snug weather protection gained when the Corvette top is raised and chrome-bound windows with ventipanes inserted. Another example of practicality in a sports car is the Corvette spacious luggage compartment. Note that the spare tire is concealed under the floor for the tops in room and loading ease. Inside the Corvette, the theme of beauty, elegance, and richness is continued. Here truly is the throne of the road, gracefully sculptured from leather-grained vinyl and foam rubber. In free and easy legroom, no foreign sports car on the road comes close. In front of the driver are airplane-type instruments, including a tachometer to register engine revolutions, sharp reminders of the jet-like power to be unleashed at the flick of the Corvette key. But with the thrill of speed and swift performance, the Corvette owner has all the convenient accessories to which the connoisseur of modern cars has become accustomed, from windshield washers to electric clock. And for the ultimate in performance and convenience, this control stick is a special Corvette Power Glide arrangement. Never has such a modern automatic transmission been offered in a sports car. No worries about shifting. Power Glide applies just the right amount of engine power at just the right time, with all the smoothness and expertness of a crack race driver. And for extra power, extra performance, the Power Glide unit has been beefed up to provide full throttle upshift at 55 miles an hour for maximum safety in passing. Yes, compare the Corvette to any sports car in performance and nimbleness, and you'll pick the Corvette as your fun car. Compare the Corvette to any luxury passenger car, and you'll note that the Corvette has every important convenience and style touch of a truly fine car. And finally, consider the Corvette not in terms of statistics or materials or other cars, but as a way of life. Let yourself be introduced to the thrill of motion, the rays of the sun, the coolness of the breezes by the Chevrolet Corvette. Fun on wheel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for part two and more amazing films.